So, what we got going on here, guys, is the Seven of Cups in the past. So that's what we're looking at, right? So we got a lot of decisions to make. There's a lot of options. There's some things that, you know, may be a little bit, you know, I don't know. They seem a little bit too good to be true sometimes. With the Seven of Cups, I really get this feeling that in the past you were really trying to take your time and really look thoroughly at every option that comes up. You guys are Virgos, right? There's nothing that you do, don't see. And I'm sure you guys are recognizing all my scattered stones and all my, um, all my crystals and everything. I'm like, what is going on with her station? But, you know, like, like I said, you guys don't miss anything. You guys don't, you know, there's you know, you see everything. Um, so with this energy here, I do get the sense that you guys were really looking in the past, really making sure that your options that you had available to you were something that is actually going to lead you to something that is worthwhile. That's, good. That's something that you can truly invest your time and emotions into. Um, you don't want to just, you know, put your time into something that you don't know is going to like kind of potentially leave you hanging now in the present you have the four of pentacles so i feel like you may have retracted back to an old comfort zone maybe you guys have reached a period um in your relationship where you guys are comfortable and you guys have gotten to a place where you are more stable um you have made a decision and you guys finally got to a place where it's not you know not wobbly or anything so you're pretty solid but there is still more to go with this relationship um, so I feel like there is just this weird comfort zone area in your life where you're having to kind of purge out. And it's not necessarily something that you, I, I don't think it's necessarily like you're clinging on because you know it's, it's familiar. I think it's, of course, right? But I feel like you guys want to do something differently. You want to go, um, you want to, you know, step out and branch out and do something different. Um, but at the same time, it's just like, you know, it's still a change and it's not easy to make, you know, a change is not easy to make at all. So I really feel like guys with the present, yeah, there is this, this comfort zone, um, that you may need to kind of purge out of. And I know that you want to do it as well. It's like a really weird, weird tug and pull. Like you want something new, but you honestly, you just got to a place where you feel pretty solid. Now in the future, you guys have the six of wands. Now the six of wands talks about being recognized. And this is, um, you know, this is showing, you know, seeing the work that you've been putting out there and really getting recognized for it, really being happy that you're, that, you know, that the effort that you put out there was very successful. And I feel like that's because you stepped out of your comfort zone. That's because you went out and you went, you know, you were brave and you did something that really made you feel like it was rewarding. Um, so this could be with an individual. Um, for those of you that are in a relationship already, this could potentially be that you're maybe going a different path, a different direction with your relationship. And for some of you guys that are, are looking for a relationship or are seeing someone currently, this is about taking that step and being able to just kind of go out on a limb, potentially with an individual, you know, taking a chance in love. That's what it looks like here, right? Just taking a leap of faith. And I know you don't see the fool here, but I mean, you, probably, you may as well. Now, internally with the seven of cups, you have the hangman. Um, and I really feel like with this energy, like I was saying, right, you guys were taking your time to really look at, you know, the options that were presented to you, the, the love interests that you probably have had, or maybe for those of you that are in relationships, there's a pro you know, potential, um, you know, situation in your relationship where you're having to really figure out what it is that you want, I, from your, not necessarily from your partner, but from the relationship. What are you looking for to get out of this relationship? Um, and is it romance? Is it, is it, you know, a bit of fantasy? Is it something that, you know, can, you know, emotionally engage you? Is it some, is it, a, is it escape of some sort? Um, or are you dealing with someone that's delusional, right? Are you dealing with somebody that you feel like isn't really, you know, really dealing with the practical as much as you are? Now, it doesn't necessarily mean that that's a bad thing, but I do get the sense that it was like a period where you were kind of stuck in, limbo because you weren't seeing eye to eye with your partner or there was something that you need to stay from your partner or something right there's some sort of situation where it puts you in a place of stagnancy emotionally you weren't able to really make any moves because you were still looking at what is being shown to you what is you know what what your heart's desire is trying to figure that out so 
Externally, though, you had the Ace of Swords, which is, again, another perspective card. So I feel like there was new options. There were new, new ways of thinking, new ways of communicating. Potentially, that maybe that this situation was about communication, was about talking, was about what, you know, obviously thinking, right? Because how you felt was stuck in the situation. But in order for you to get out of it, you had to see something new. So it had a, had a lot to do with looking at the cards, or looking at, you know, the the... The platter that you've got in front of you now with that said I feel like with that you know with the option here I feel like you kind of made your decision um, and you got to a place where you're feeling very comfortable very stable you got to a place where you can you felt very comfortable honestly with this individual but there was still more to go right there's not a place where you know this is not a place where um, you can stay forever. This is honestly, unless you want, you know, unless you don't want any more than what you've got here, then you can't really stay in this one spot. You're going to have to take a risk. You have to go out there. And I feel like internally, you do want to go out there and explore. You want to experience things. You want to be more, have more fun. You want to, you know, you want to be free. And I feel like internally, right, well, externally, like there is this situation where there is like this really weird blockage, like you don't really want to break out of it per se yet. And I feel like you don't really want to step outside of your comfort zone because you just got to being familiar with what you've got. Like this feels good where it is. You feel free where you are. Um, honestly, it's not that I don't think it's necessarily that you don't want to, you know, um, risk losing the individual. I think you don't want to give up your freedom, most importantly. I feel like where you guys are is that you picked someone that you felt like would be some a potentially good person to hang out with or someone that you may, you know, someone that you can have fun with, someone that is loose and not very serious, potentially with this Seven of Cups. That could be that too. But again, for those of you that are in a relationship, this could just be that, you know, you were trying to figure out what it is that you want, but now you're in a place where you guys have made your decision and stabilizing that, but you guys want a little more fun. You want something, you want to experience something new. Um, and I feel like this is, for those of you that are in a relationship, this is really, I feel like it's really, t you know, telling me that you guys don't want to give up your freedom. You don't want to give up this single life, this single person. Um, but then you have this queen of swords who's very serious, who's very, you know, detached. Um, and this is not an energy that I particularly want to see, but this could be an Aries, Leo, sorry, excuse me, a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius that's coming up for you guys, um, or an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius that you could be dealing with. Um, the options could potentially be that, you know, that this, honestly, the decision that you possibly have, you know, we possibly haven't made that decision yet. Maybe you were just seeing different perspectives of the options that you had here, and now you're having to make a decision about which one you want, whether this is the fire sign or the, or the, uh, what, you know, the, um, the air sign for those of you that are dating still. Now, if this isn't the case, you know, obviously this is only going to apply to a certain amount of people. So this could really just be that you don't want to give up a lot of your freedom. You don't, you want to have more fun. You want to be, you know, you want to be free, but at the same time, you know you know what you want you know what your truth is at the same time you know what you want to go after and i feel like although you want you know you although you don't want to compromise your freedom i think you do want to settle down with this individual but that's hard because it's talking about transitioning yourself and leaving behind this foundation that you've built so you know that you're taking so long to build let me go ahead and quickly clarify the four of pentacles see why that's coming up for you guys Ah, oh, the seven, yeah, the nine of swords. So yeah, you guys are stressed out. You're feeling pretty stressed out about this. Okay, you're feeling pretty stressed out. Um, again, it could potentially be that you've gotten to a place where you have more freedom and it's like conforming. You know, earth signs, you guys are really good at committing to something and you're not sure if you really want to, you know, go in that hard. That's what I feel like. Why are they stressed out? Why are they stressed out? The Eight of Swords, Jesus. You guys feel stuck. You guys feel stuck. You guys don't see like another way out of it. You guys don't see another avenue. One more. What is it that they, why do they feel stuck? 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 Ah, the come, yep, singleton. Yep, singleton. Yep, that's what it is. Yeah, you guys don't want to give up your freedom. You don't want to give up the space that you created. This 
a place of zen and peace for yourself. Honestly, this four of pentacles is a long time coming. And this single card, the nine of pentacles is coming up because you don't want to feel like, you don't want to feel like you have to choose between being yourself, being 100% you, and being in a relationship. For some of you guys, you may feel like you're stuck in a gilded cage and you can't get out. And you want to purge out. That's why you want this. That's why you have the Knight of Wands. Maybe you want to purge. Maybe you want to experience a bit of freedom. Um, maybe you want to speak your truth. And maybe you are communicating and maybe you're detaching because you're trying to protect your inner self, protect your, protect you because you feel very vulnerable right now. Like, the Nine of Swords, Eight of Swords, it's a very vulnerable energy in itself, right? And with the Four of Pentacles, it's already like a very vulnerable card. He's holding on to what he believes that he, that's all he can get. So I really feel like for a lot of you guys, you may just feel like you are stressed out and feel stuck in your situation. But you know that there's more out there. There's, there's, You know that you want to experience more. But, you know, there's just this conflict you know, with what you want and what you, you know, and what you, you feel comfortable with. And that's that hard, you know, that hard transition. But I do feel like you guys do, do decide to step outside of your comfort zone because you have the six of wands here. This is talking about, you know, victory in your efforts, right? This is being recognized for your efforts and being noticed. Um, so I really feel like you are going to receive some sort of victory here in the future. Um, because you have more confidence in yourself, you believe in your ability to manifest something that's beautiful, that's what something that's you know worth your time, that makes you feel good. Um, you've developed confidence in yourself um, because of the relationship that you end up gaining in the future. This person that comes to comes to you, this person that you may meet. This could also be that you know for those of you that are currently in a relationship already that you maybe feel like stuck in a situation where your partner is you know not there. Um, or they, you know, they could be that they're very practically focused, they're very career focused, then they, they give you lavish goods or whatever, right? Or they just, you know, they, they're, they're there in theory, but they're not there emotionally. And that's what kind of keeps you stressed. You feel very isolated. And I feel like you want to, you know, experience, you want to travel, you want to do something that's fun and engaging. At the same time, you want to communicate, you want to, you know, be with this individual. This could be, you know, that you feel is very intelligent, that's very logical, that's very serious. I feel like this individual may not even be you. This may be just somebody else that you're dealing with, but you want to have fun. You want to enjoy them. Okay. So I feel like at the end of the day, I feel like you may channel the Queen of Swords, and the advice is that you should channel the Queen of Swords. Communicate what it is that you desire. What is your heart's What is your heart's desire? And I feel like with you communicating that, stepping outside of your comfort zone, um, coming outside of that this feeling of isolation where you don't have to be by yourself, where you can just you know pretty much you know communicate what your needs are, because that's hard, Virgo. You help so many people, but you got to make sure that you help yourself too, because who's going to really look out for you? So you, so I feel like honestly, the communication is what's important, right? You have a new way of communicating here, but it's about utilizing that new that communication, so that way you can receive the victory that you're looking for. Be very confident in yourself and reestablish a connection with you and your partner, or potentially connect with somebody in the future. Or connect with the person that you may be dealing, you may have been dealing with since the very beginning. Okay, let me go ahead and pull you guys your romance angels for the week. All right, guys. That's a hard one, guys. It's a hard one, you know? Especially if you've kind of, you've gotten to a place where you could feel like you are stand on your own two feet. Ooh, that was interesting. I didn't want to come all the way out, though. Um, but you've gotten to a place where you know, you feel very vulnerable, so you're kind of just clinging on. But cling on to, you know, what makes you feel safe and grounded, but it's not truly where you want to be. And I could sell that. Alright, so you guys have calling in your soulmate. And this card says, your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations help you help bring you together. 
okay it helps bring you together and it's so true um so i feel like that's what the you know that's what that queen of swords could potentially be talking about in the four of swords the nine of swords the eight of swords and the nine of pentacles like there's a feeling of isolation here like you feel very isolated and you don't really want to be here but this is also something that you're very familiar with you know what you know to expect from this area except outside your comfort zone you don't know what to expect but you have to just kind of you have to try you know, I'm not saying you guys are not trying, but you have to just take a chance with it. You know, take a leap of faith. Just try it out. See what happens. And I feel like you may, you will be rewarded. I do. Because you see this card here, the Six of Wands. And it builds up your confidence. Obviously, it, it shows you that you are capable of doing what you need to do. That you are prepared to handle whatever comes your way. Because you are able to let your needs be expressed it's okay to be selfish it's okay to look out for yourself it's okay to be self-centered sometimes because if you're not who's going to have your back who's going to really look out for you 